Hey everyone, Core here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a drop-in intro, and when you're done, it's going to look something like this. Uh, as you can see, the text drops out of the sky, lands on the, the floor, and it looks pretty good. So let's get started. We're going to go up to File, New. First, what we want to do is put in a floor. So hold down the light, go to Floor, and then we're going to put in another floor. Then go over here to the Rotation tool, the Rotate tool. Hold down Shift, uh, this way it rotates in like increments of 10, because if you don't, then it goes, you know, a lot. But uh, Control Z, uh, the increments of yeah, 10, 15, 20, yeah. But I uh, just rotate it, the red, and then make it go to 90 degrees. That way, it's straight up and down. And then you can rename this from floor one to uh, back wall. And then we're gonna change the coordinates of the Z. Make sure you're on the Z one. Uh, we're gonna change it to a thousand. Uh, you you know you can. It's all preference how far your back you want it to be. I just do a thousand because that's how far the floors are. And then right before we re render, we're gonna change our render settings. Our or output to uh, film and video HD 720 because that's what I render it in so you know it's always good to work in what you render then if you render it as you can see we have a wall and a floor so if, next we're gonna double click on the materials and then double click that and we're gonna change the color to a bright white we're gonna turn off the specular and then we're gonna add a uh, reflection and change the brightness from 100 just to 10 just give it a little bit of reflection and then drag that on the floor and the wall and then if you render it it got a little brighter, but nothing really changed. Now we're gonna turn on. Uh, we're gonna put in a light. So hold down the light, or just click it. It'll give you a light. We're gonna change the coordinates of the light 1,000 meters of the Y. So the middle one, the Y right here. And then we're gonna make the Z negative 1,000. What that's gonna do is it's gonna throw a thousand meters up and a thousand meters back towards you. Therefore, it's gonna shine on your text and all that stuff. Uh, you can also change the color of your light if you want. Just go to general, make it whatever color you want. That's a weird color, but uh, I'm just gonna stick for uh, to white for right now. And then uh, you can change the you can turn on shadows, which we're gonna do. So just click shadow, go to shadow map soft, and then change the density from t uh, 100 to 10. You can mess with this uh, if you want really like dark shadows, but um, I just want a really light shadow, which you'll see when I put it in the text. So now we're gonna put it in the text. So go to MoGraph text object. We're gonna change the depth of the ob. Uh, of the text to 80. That's going to make it really thick as you can see. We're going to change the line to middle. That way it's in the middle. And then we're going to change the font to, uh, I'm going to use Boris Black Box. Uh, you can just Google it. I'm, I'll try to put a link if I can remember where I got it from. But if not, just Google how to get that font if you want it. And then we're going to type in drop in intro. Oops. And then we're going to zoom out so we can see our words. Now, as you can see, the floors do cut off on the side, but they actually don't. Uh, flo I, the reason why I use the floor is because it goes forever, uh, whereas a plane does not. Um, but if you render it, as you can see, the floors do uh, continue to go, and they're always going to continue to go. Um, and that's why I use floors for my wall. But uh, right now, we're just going to add a color to uh, the text. So we're going to go to File uh, on the Materials, File, Shader, and then Nukai. I think it's Nukai. It's a nice blue. has some reflections to it, and, uh, you know, it's just quicker for me just to choose that and there it looks really good so now all we have left to do is uh, make it drop out of the sky so what we want to do is click the floor we're gonna go up to tags a uh, MoGraph tags a rigid body and then we're gonna change the bounce right here from 0.5 just to 0 so it doesn't bounce as much when it hits and then we're gonna do the same thing or we're gonna add rigid uh, the tags MoGraph tags rigid body to the text and then uh, right here the individual elements I'll show you that in a few seconds but uh, now we're just going to change the coordinates of the, um, the text. So we want it to be out of, out of the scene first. So, uh, you know, just go up like 600. Just go up. Well, right here at this view, it's like 600. But you can go up higher. And then if you hit play, it uh, falls out of the sky. But it does break. And we don't want it to break. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Oops. We're going to go back to the first frame, the frame 0. We're going to change the rigged body. Right here, it's going to say individual elements to all. What we're going to do is we're going to change it to off. And what that's going to do is when it falls, it's going to hit the ground, but it's going to hit all together, and it's not going to separate them or break them. And uh, there it looks a lot better because then they stay together. So it's pretty much really simple. Um, you know, it's not a, like an amazing intro, but it's a cool intro if you guys want to, you know, try it. And then you can also, uh, you know, use this idea to make better stuff. But, yeah. So if you render it out, this is what it looks like. Uh, when it's landed, you know, you got some soft shadows. Again, if you change the shadows of the light, it'll make them darker, lighter. You got some reflection on the floor because we added the reflection to the, the floor and the wall. It's also a reflection back there. And then a nice color on the text. But uh, again, you guys can customize this as much as, you know, as much as you want. 
whether you want the light to be a different color, maybe you maybe you're you know you like red, you want a red room. Uh, that looks kind of weird, but you know it's whatever you guys can do it however you want. But hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day.